Sorry, buddy. No can do. My son. My bottle. My house. Oh, my God. Yo, yo, that's not Walt. That's the other guy. Oh, snap. Yo, 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 what is up, everybody? Welcome back to another TV show reaction and commentary. And today, we're going to continue with season two of Breaking Bad, hopping into episode 10, titled Over. Um, this journey has been just so fascinating for me. And I hope that, you know, the uh, amount of passion that I have for storytelling, for uh, filmmaking, for just uh, nuances within characters and all of that good stuff that we you know can talk endlessly quite literally about um i'm hoping that you know i'm able to showcase the love i have for that through this very unique uh form of connection that we have going on here and um you know i'm really i'm really thankful for it you know i really am thankful for the reciprocation that you guys have towards uh you know the energy that i have for this you know i think it just really goes to show you the power of creating great stories and um you know being able to just immerse yourself within something like this and finding other people who do the very same and then having a neat little community it's like um you know going into the cafeteria and in school and you know trying to find out your click your niche and finding the people who you know watch the same thing that you watch you know or watch the same anime that you watch you know those people they stick with you they you know can can you know be there for you and with you for a long time so this is really cool and i'm happy that we have a similar uh, relation uh, throughout this journey because of breaking bad and because of good storytelling so if anything guys you know before we do hop into this um i hope that you guys are inspired i hope that you guys can see the benefits of what it is when you have uh, enough passion when you have enough willpower to continue in creating good work good uh storytelling it does a lot not just for you know the person who's creating it but also for everyone else who you know finds a community within that creation and i think that is a great thing when art is able to create a public space and I, that's a beautiful thing because that's when art just goes so much beyond uh, that of the surface level but it really does help people out genuinely so um i wanted to just like say that because you know uh, I, I'm just, I, I'm feeling really good. <laughs> I'm feeling really good. And every time I put on Breaking Bad, I just get that much more excited, that much more um, ready to talk about filmmaking and talk about the stories and just, you know, enjoy myself along this ride. So again, guys, if you want to be able to, you know, support more of what I just said, or just, you know, this this experience you guys can support me at patreon it's the best way to support this channel by all means you can have early access you can have full length you can have patreon polls we have a good amount of stuff going on on there so if you want to check and see which one you would like to do by all means you can you don't have to do that by the way you can support the channel by leaving a like comment and subscribing at the end of the day sit back relax get your popcorn and snacks as we hop into breaking bad episode 10 It's really cool that throughout every episode, we have been starting off with these visuals. That is interesting. It's good that they're reminding us it because sometimes I'd be, you know, forgetting the storyline just with the, the intros. <laughs> but yeah, I think the DAA is uh, cracking up and getting closer to our, our Eisenberg or Eisenpower or Eisenhower, whatever, Eisen thing <laughs> oh man oh man that is a crazy way to just throw in there man all right and the cool thing about those intros is that they're not intros to the episodes we're going into they're glimpses in the future which i'm assuming are you know the last episodes of the season so that's really cool it just keeps that that thing going. I love it. Clever storytelling. <coughs> yeah, we left off with him uh, getting the news that his cancer is somewhat regressing. It's still there. You know, you don't want to be too out of the clear just yet. But great news because we thought he was going to be gone in like the next two weeks. More importantly, though, how does Walter feel about this? I mean, we left off with him punching some walls in the bathroom. 
No, nothing too big, just family and a few friends. We got a lot to celebrate. Sounds good. <laughs> yep, love those moments. Love those moments where we can just linger on a character after they say something out loud so we can figure out what they're saying inside. Yep, I'm loving these shots. The lingering is great. It's what I imagine. I mean, I wonder how he truly feels like. I feel like a part of him kind of misses it a little bit. Because it's not like all the things that he went through is just gone, like it disappeared. He's still a very changed man. Chemistry. He's a whole different particle right now. This episode has a different director in it, too. That's cool. Not to imply I'm cured, I still have cancer. But there's been a significant reduction in the tumors. How significant? It's interesting that we're bouncing around from different angles and different distances around this conversation. Not sure if it means anything, but it is entertaining to just notice. We're getting closer and closer to our two characters here. Camera's just bouncing around, showing us our environment. I mean, you know, at your stage, I didn't think that could happen. Mm. Mr. White, you kicked his ass, yo. No. Oh, I'm so happy that Jesse is like, yo, dude, you're alive. Okay. Why are you not happy? <laughs> we know why, though. A lot of really cool. That was cool. That was cool. I like how they did that. <laughs> that was a cool little macro shot to make it look like it was some drugs. But it's true. It really is. And um, for the first time in a long time, we are so excited about the future. It's interesting with that framing there because I feel like showing how other people are reacting to this while having the camera focus on Walt's reaction or him trying to mask his reaction is interesting. They're doing so many sprinkles of showing us that there's something else happening behind this great news. When I got my diagnosis, cancer, I said to myself, you know, why me? The other day when I got the good news, I said the same thing. Ugh. Oh, man. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> okay. Enjoy. Hey. Cheers. Cheers. Wow. Inspirational. <laughs> wow. Okay. That is interesting. <clears throat> Damn, the way this show is able to capture just a human experience is wild. And sometimes, I, I'm, again, documentary is what comes into mind, but I feel like I'm watching Animal Planet just with humans. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, hey, hey, kid, sixteen. What are you looking at him for? Oh, oh, oh! Ah, man, we're celebrating. This is <laughs> this is bad. What is going on underneath you, dog? What is going on under your skin, man? You would think this would be just good news, but damn. Jeez, man. Oh my God. Yo, what the hell? That's crazy, man. I'll take a pass on that one if I were you, okay? I think we've been bogarting this puppy long enough. What? Man, that was bad. Bring the bottle back. Sorry, buddy. No can do. It's my son. 
My battle, my house! Oh my god, yo, yo, that's not Walt. That's the other guy. Oh, snap. What are you waiting for? Oh, no. Bring it back. I think that, that the human Walt died when he was healed. That's crazy. <laughs> This is bad. This is this is not what I expected at all. Like I knew there was gonna be some tension, but damn, what? Why is he? Why, <laughs> dude? There's so many other ways. You, and he's smiling. He's smiling over this. Oh, he's a villain. Like that was villainous right there. Usually he's he's. This is his son. Come on, man. No, I don't want you to have to do anything, you know? <sighs> Jesse! I'm just, man, I know that this is probably not going to last long, and if it does, it's probably going to end terribly. But I'm going to have this moment for our boy right here, okay? Ah, She's great. She's so great. She is so great. <laughs> Working, whatever that means. Honestly, I think no. it's she's great because she honestly doesn't judge him, and even if she does, it's not like in a like a pointing way. She's just listening, which is something that he definitely deserves because uh, he doesn't get listened to at all. I wanted to say that I. I'm not exactly sure who that was yesterday, but it wasn't me. Oh, we know for sure who that was. <laughs> I spent a good amount of episodes with that dude. Something tells me he is not going to be leaving anytime soon. You want to talk about a cancer? <sighs> yeah, I'm pretty sure that guy's growing. Yo, they are doing that pretty well in this episode. That's the second time they've done something like that. That's cool. Nice little matching cut there. Feel free to bring these anytime. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. I love the little bits of just, just tiny moments we get to have with these characters that aren't on the forefront. Not to say that Skylar isn't. She very is on the forefront, but to see her yeah. not with Walt and just uh, in her own uh, space, thanks. building her own story before coming back to Walt, that's good. That's really good. All the ingredients are great. And who's this? This guy can serve without a board? Um, that's Hover. Hey, they're able to smoke inside. There you go. <laughs> that's cool. That is cool. I mean, don't smoke cigarettes, y'all. And this guy? Just don't smoke cigarettes anywhere. You don't have to. But the other thing? Yeah, sure, go ahead. Anyways, he goes backwards. He can make everything go in reverse. Time and stuff? Like time traveling? No, he just, um, he just walks backwards. <laughs> I would love to see a cartoon out of all those characters. Even if it's like five minutes. That's hilarious. Jane. Well, that's not weird at all. What on earth? <laughs> Everybody got something going on. Must be her father. Hey. Yeah. Oh, there you are. <laughs> Hi, honey. That's weird. Car, that's weird. So it's weird. It's weird. It's weird. Oh man. <laughs> hey. This uh, it's your dad. Yes. Hello. Oh, man. This is... Oh, my goodness. Oh, there is a lot of things happening here. <laughs> I'm sorry. Did you need something? Uh, no. Dad, why don't you come in? It was nice Ooh. seeing you. Oh, man. Dad, golly. There was... Like, I feel like they just always choose the extreme approaches. I, like damn 
Like, there were so many other ways we could have finessed that. But, man, that's unfortunate. But I kept up, right? I drank three. <laughs> I have some tools to put away. I think Walt's probably going to try and compensate his environment to fit the feeling that he felt when he was, you know, running a whole drug trade. <laughs> Just in the household, which is not good. You seem cool to me. Yeah, well. So, what's the deal? There's no deal. I was helping you out, okay? Protecting you. Ah, oh, man. Everybody has their thing. I love it. <laughs> I love it. All right, I'm talking about us. Us. Yeah. You and me. Who's wow. you and me? Oh my god, yo, that's crazy. She's evil as hell. That's crazy. That is insane. That is so deep. That is a not here. That is a deep thing. That's crazy levels of dismissiveness. Yo, are you kidding me, man? Are you kidding me? I mean, this is this is good therapy because you know. But I don't know. I just this dude is uh, is, is he's he's worrying me. Also, I don't like the fact that he's cutting up the floorboards because I'm like, dude, what are you trying to put in there? What are you trying to put in there, man? Yeah, ever seen anything like it? It's wood. That's wood that contains fruiting bodies. Fruity what? <laughs> <laughs> it, it, is the whole house going to collapse or something? Not if I can help it. That is not a good, that's not a good thing to hear. <laughs> Another matching cut. This one with the sound. There is a lot of this in here. Like I said, I noticed that it was directed by a different person this time around, and I'm definitely seeing the different takes and direction. There's a lot more slower movements here. We're lingering on shots a lot more, too, by the way. I'll see you tomorrow. Mm. What's wrong? My man just did a B, a, a big D move right there. <laughs> He's just like, well, what's wrong? Oh, man. Doesn't... I don't know if Watt's going to like that dynamic if he finds out. Oh. 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 Uh, I hope that isn't perceived wrongly or anything. Oh, oh man. Oh, man. Man, oh man, this episode is just letting us just wit. Wow. Okay. I hope it's good. I hope it's good, but my goodness, that's bad. <laughs> we are really just embracing the cringe moments here. Golly. I love how we were talking about tunnels and being in that tunnel. It seems like Walt is just tunneled vision. Like, he's just... <laughs> Apology, girl. That's hilarious. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's one way to do it. <laughs> Good night. Oh, damn! Skyler, god dang it. Mm. Skyler. Clumsy. Skylar! Skylar! <laughs> it's interesting that he's physically trying to fix the foundation of his house, but the foundation that he really needs to fix, he's ignoring. Wow. Oh, man. That's interesting. Red phosphorus is found in the striker strips, not the matches themselves. You need to get the big 200 count box of individual matchbooks. 
<laughs> he's like, what are you doing? He's like, trust me, bro. I do this. Are you following me here? <laughs> Yo. I, see, I know he probably gets off on that, man. He probably gets off on that. Oh, dude, he's going to be on such a power hunger, man. Damn. I can feel it. It's, it's going to be so bad. <laughs> building supply. <laughs> yeah, I feel like he's going to be building a whole lot of supply. Stay out of my territory. Woo! <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, yo. <laughs> that was really cool. <laughs> that was really cool. <laughs> I hate what's about to happen, but man, that was really cool. Woo. All right, guys, that is the end. It's a Breaking Bad. Oh, my goodness. All right, everybody, we just got done episode 10. Breaking Bad Season 2 titled Over. Man, yo, that was hilarious. We saw the <laughs> the jank version of Breaking Bad in this episode. And just the boss form of Walt. That last ending, that was cool as heck, man. I don't care what anybody got to say. I mean, I know it's just going to lead to more trauma, you know, and more just <laughs> very cringe moments and explosions that i'm just you know it's a it's a chemical reaction this show is so i know an inevitable explosion reaction is just waiting to happen if not it has already um but man that whole ending right there kind of solidified all my thoughts and feelings throughout this episode and trying to figure out what was on walt's mind um again this episode was directed by a different person and I could definitely uh, admire their approach to it because if you notice, a lot of shots were lingering on characters more after their lines, um, just to allow us to soak in a little bit more of their afterthoughts, the, you know, the thoughts that aren't breaching past the surface, um, you know, the thoughts that are, you know, kind of descriptions within the script and, you know, seeing that unravel as the camera's just lingering on these characters is a real good treat. You know, this episode had a good, slower pacing to it. Uh, a necessary one, especially after coming off of the news of Walter, you know, now feeling better. You know, feeling better now that his cancer is regressing. However, we know that just because the cancer is regressing doesn't, doesn't mean that the cancer is gone. But that also implies a lot of other things within the storytelling as well, too. That whatever is in Walt, whatever is lingering inside, it isn't going to go anywhere. And if anything, I'm thinking that the previous Walt probably died. I feel like Walt did die. He did die. But in a more metaphorical sense, I feel like he passed the torch off or maybe the torch was just yanked out of his hand by you know this other persona that we got going on here so that is interesting i love the little bits with jesse and obviously you know um uh jesse and oh, i'm forgetting i'm blanking out her name i can't really remember her name at this moment but jesse and his girl uh and just seeing their dynamics and um seeing how she isn't as perfect you know as well though she is great for jesse you know um there is also the incidents with Skylar, you know, Skylar and her emotions and just her kind of needing that comfort that Walt is not providing for her. And that's a shame because I'm sure that already doesn't help the fact that she's pregnant, you know, so everything is just going to jack up all of her emotions. And um, I can see tension with that, you know, even the tension between Hank and Walter. You know, the tension between like, you know, I guess that alpha maleism and, uh, you know, feeling like, you know, a father feeling in charge. Right. And Hank is just like, dude, like he's just completely clueless of it all. Uh, so there's a lot of things that are happening here 
And it was great that this episode took a slower approach for me to soak it all up because I'm just seeing it. I'm seeing it all pieced together. It's like a, it's like witnessing a, a giant mural in front of you and you're working on like, you know, the one piece that's in front of you, but you know you have the entire picture to fill the blanks in. But man, I can already tell that the piece that is building in front of me is going to be pretty damn gorgeous. Um, is it going to be bad? Good? I don't know. But all I know is that this is going to leave a mark. So I am excited. I'm going to continue on to the next episode for all my Patreon people out there. But for everybody else, stay healthy and stay hydrated because we are just getting started. Purple jacket pocket full of weed. Everything that I should ever need. Grab some matches because they give them free. Like my time, hair pulled back in the back seat.